Hi everyone, Mike, Newfound Past. Back with the mid-morning packing up the eBay sold. So, um, you know, let me get over here and get in the chat. Oh boy, what a morning. I know I'm up against a couple of big other flippers and stuff, but I'm just, you know, I'm just going to do it every morning. But, uh, yeah. It is what it is. I missed most of a uh, Justin show this morning because I was stuck in traffic. My uh, my wife's normal train, which is really <clears throat> close to our house, was uh, had some maintenance issues, so I had to take her to the the metro station up in Franconia Springfield. And uh, yeah, that's a morning suburban DC traffic is a nightmare. Hey, morning, Justin. Hey, are we live? Yeah, we're live. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm just gonna I'm pulling out the chat now. Cool. How are, how are your sales yesterday, Mike? Average. Uh, let me see here exactly. Uh, let me see here. I mean, they weren't as bad as the past few days. They were one fifty three seventy two. Still, you know, below average. Yeah, so. Well, let me do this way. I have nothing to ship today. Yeah, that's crazy. How many people we got in here to watch it? I, th I feel like people slept in today, Mike. Uh, I had like 16 people I, or notifications are screwy. I, you know, usually my morning show, we get about, you know, 30 to 50 people. Yeah. I had 17 people this morning. Wow. That's crazy. <laughs> I and I know we're up against Scott and everything, but maybe just people, like you said, are taking the day off. And I, I mean, I wasn't like, you know, my time wasn't up against them because I'm, I'm on it like round. Yeah. So, yeah. That's okay though, because people can watch it later. We'll, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. It's so crazy. I mean, I didn't catch your negative story because I, like I said, I was driving, you know, trying to pay attention. You probably saw it. I, I sent it to the, the little Facebook group we're in. You, I think you saw it there. Yeah. Because mine's a pretty whack story. So. Yeah. Hey, Michelle. Good morning. Hey, Mo. How's it going? Morning, Mo. Hope you're a. Uh, your uh, scan went well yesterday. Morning, Michelle. <clears throat> I'm sure I'll tell a story in my sold video because this item hasn't even made it in my sold video, but I sold a small kitchen appliance, uh, new and open box. You know, I can tell. But since it's open box, of course, I tested it and made sure everything was working great, all that good stuff before I listed it. And uh, pretty sought after item, and it sold for almost 80 bucks fairly quickly. And, uh, Get a return quest last last night, which is fine. It happens, no yeah. big deal. So before I do anything else, I you know message the person and I go you know ask you know what's exactly wrong with it. You know, hopefully I can you know help or whatever. Before they respond, I see that they have just hammered me with a negative. I'm like, what in the world? Why would they do that? Yeah, your first negative too. I do that. Like yeah. I said, I, my first one in thirteen years, man. Yeah, my first one. I mean, in over a decade, easy. Yeah, I didn't even. You know, I could because I do free returns. I could have called eBay and bought it. I still could if I want to, but honestly, I don't care. I have so much feedback; it really doesn't matter. Yeah. And it doesn't matter truly in the long run. But it pissed me off. It went from me going, you know, just taking the return, no big deal. I was even thinking about letting them keep the item if it's broken. Why do I want it back? You know. Yeah. But uh, that changed my mindset. So I sent them another message. I was like, disregard that previous message send it back exactly how i sent it to you you know yep. and all that good stuff yep. and, and uh, here's the beautiful thing mike if they if they don't package it well you just file a claim with the with the post office yeah and that's why i told him i was like i wanted exactly how i sent it to you exact yep. box exact packing material everything yep. and uh like i said there's the funny part this all happened over like a two-hour period last night is that uh, as soon as i sent that i want it back exactly like I sent it to you automatically it started working and uh, it's everything's fine. And uh, you, you you had that. In, wait, do you have that in eBay messaging? I, they do. Said, I do. So I'm going to call eBay this morning and try to get the uh, feedback yeah. removed. Yeah. It sounds to me like they were hoping you would just say, keep it. Yeah. And that's exactly my thought too. So, and I almost did if they would not have left that negative. Yeah. So they screwed themselves. They, they screwed they, themselves. I would have let them keep the item. I would have not worried about it. You know, $80 sale, it stinks, but it only cost me five bucks plus shipping, 
you know. That, that's the thing I think a lot of new sellers forget is that okay. yeah, you're refunding your profit, but your real your only actual loss on a return is what you have in the item. Yep. And that's why I wasn't worried about it, but they screwed themselves by leaving that negative because I dug my heels in after they left that negative. <laughs> I don't blame you at all. But yeah, I'm gonna after I get off here, I'm gonna try to call eBay or how you know put that thing where they call me, you know, because who knows how long the wait. And... Yeah, I find if you call them around this time of day, it's not too bad. The times when like the wait time is really bad is on the weekends. So I don't think they have as many people manning the, the call centers. Yeah. And all the part timers are just hammering them because that's when they have available as well. Yeah, exactly. Yep. But that's uh it was just you know, it's infuriating, but what are you gonna do? You know, it's just yeah. a good lesson for new eBayers though. So yep. hey, we're up to fifteen, that's not too bad. <laughs> Hey Denise, how's it going? Piper Denise. John, the truth, formerly known as FMP, NH guy. What is it? What is NH guy's name again, Mike? Dan. Huh. What is it? Dan. Dan. Okay, that's easy enough to remember, but I'll still forget it. Sorry, Dan. Yep. I have. I, have, I made a started a running list over here. I keep right by my keyboard. <laughs> yeah. Of handles and real names, because I, I remember eventually, but I need a little little help. Yeah, I know, I know we call Mo Mo, but Mo's name is Ken, I believe. So, <laughs> unless that's someone else. Anyway, yeah, Piper John says he usually gets a call back in ten minutes. Yeah, no. Yeah. How much stuff are you shipping out today? Five items. I got everything pulled over here. Like I said, five items, just over one hundred and fifty bucks. Which I guess I'm happy with how slow things have been the past four days. <laughs> What's funny is one of the items I've listed yesterday on our working hangout is one of the sold items, the biggest sold item from yesterday. So nice. And uh, I just I just got done recording a what sold video because I'm trying to I, I don't, like when if I wait too long I have to kind of pick and choose what I put in there and I don't like doing that so I had to do one because I had so many sales that I had to do one from like Monday to Wednesday and that's I have it set to premiere at uh, I think like twelve or one or I don't know what I did I said I did the premiere thing you know what I mean. Um, for oh, yeah, it's already recorded and, and loaded up, so yep, keep an eye on that, guys. <laughs> yep, I'll definitely watch it. Yeah, I got a few things I'm gonna show. It's too bad you don't have any. I mean, well, I know it, it happens, you know, like I mean, yeah, I don't. The only thing I sold yesterday, I mean, it was, it's in my what sold video today, but it was a Duke, uh, it was a vintage champion Duke, uh, University Fuqua School of Business polo shirt. I bet I picked up for two bucks and it sold for, I took a best offer of 45 plus four shipping on it yesterday. That's an awesome flip. I love that. Those kind of shirts. Cause most people will just breeze right over them. I pick up that kind of stuff all the time. Yep. But uh, yeah, I got $49 for it. And it was in a, I did it in a haul video about probably about three weeks ago. So it didn't take that long to sell either. I had it listed at like 65 you know, cause there was no comp. So when I, I just shoot for the moon and I just throw best offer on, you know, Oh yeah, especially that stuff. Like I said, no comps and yeah, and it's rare. Like you're not gonna, yeah, it's not something you could just go into a store and buy. You know, yep. And Duke University is a very popular school. You know, if it had been like some random on college, maybe not done so well. But Duke University is one of those schools that has some prestige behind its name. Yeah, popular and a big, rich alumni. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so. Exactly. Very well off alumni. Oh. The first thing I got today is going global shipping program, so that's that's good. Like I said, guys, uh, this video I don't show exactly what sold. I don't tell you how much it, I got for it and stuff. That's for a sold video. I'm just packing up and. Yep. This is Mike's foreplay video before his uh, the left sold. <laughs> good sale. <laughs> You get to, you get to see the goods get packaged, but you don't actually get to see the goods. The full out of the what sold video. That's right. <laughs> Everybody likes a little teasing. <laughs> Let's see. Luckily, luckily I, I sold a set of four mugs, which is great because I love freeing up the, the the space on mugs. <laughs> so I got a bunch of them. Good morning, Ronnie Hart. Listening and driving. Cool, cool, cool. I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do that, Mike. We got Sherry McD. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Anyone else? That I Let me see. 
I think so. Monty, good morning, Monty. Morning, Monty. Um, yeah, we talked about it yesterday, but Justin is in the process of monetization, so he's hit his metrics. Um, I have hit my watch time, but we're on the push to a thousand on subscribers. <laughs> yeah, guys, so y'all have to look forward to all those get rich quick uh, ads that play in front of all the reselling videos. <laughs> have y'all noticed that? Like, on the re anything reseller related that's monetized, it's always this stupid like get rich quick by uh, take this exclusive Amazon course. It's oh, yeah. Like, yeah. That one drives me crazy. That young kid that's on the beach. Have you? I'm sure everybody's seen that. Yeah, video. and he's like, "Let me tell you about products that that actually sell." If I saw that kid in person, I want to punch him in the face. Yeah, the other one I like. And I don't think it plays so much anymore. But there used to be one of this dumb guy like in bed. He's like, Let me tell you about money. Money is a tool. It's not something you should chase. And I'm like, oh my god. That's <laughs> Yeah, if someone says that to you, they're definitely selling something to get money. <laughs> but uh, on that chase to a thousand, keeping on that topic, um, John, the Cincinnati Picker, is going to have uh, me on his sh do a one on one like he had did with Justin before uh, this Friday afternoon. So keep an eye out for that. Yeah, that'll be a good one. So I'm looking forward to that. And. And of course, if I have one or two subscribers that's not subscribed to Cincinnati Picker, go go subscribe to him. John is one of the best dudes around. John's a nice guy. <laughs> I was, uh, you know, I kind of befriended him and Lonnie um, well before I ever started my YouTube channel. Um, you know, just like through the their Facebook group and whatnot, we would just kind of talk about like stuff we were finding. Um, both are, I, I have a. I, I like people who are true to the game and those two are definitely like true, true to the game resellers for sure. Yep. And, and Lonnie and I were talking about it yesterday, you know, cause Lonnie and John are kind of tight. I was like, and I don't know, it's life experience, but I can pretty much tell when someone's a decent person pretty quick. Yeah. Like John and Lonnie and you and Andy and, Lauren and there's a bunch of others that are just decent to the core people. Yep. So, and that's what I want to be around. I don't want to be around someone that's I'm too old to uh, waste my time on people that aren't good people. <laughs> or like you have secret motives or that kind of crap. Mm -hmm. Self-imposed. Oh what are they talking about? Self whoa, whoa, justifiable homicide. Who's killing who? <laughs> <laughs> what are they, is the chat going off the rails already <laughs> i need to know what they're talking about Wait, who's in the doghouse michelle how did you get in the doghouse and, and who what are we not mentioning come on just spill the beans let us know your secret your secret chat yeah michelle's awesome what'd you do michelle <laughs> oh, i don't care if y'all go rogue i just want to be i just want to be cute in <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just nosy. Mary McDee, self imposed. She's keeping her mouth closed. She said, Is this hold up? I'm going to put pieces together. Oh, she retracted the message. Oh, oh, she's getting real secretive. Ooh. Sherry, Sherry, you're attracting messages. Hoping I don't figure it out. Man, some intrigue. Oh. Oh, they're talking about the guy on the beach. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, guys, look, I know some people don't like that. Formerly known as FNP, so sorry to throw the show. Look, I, I think me and Mike are the same mindset. We really, I encourage the chat to do its thing, and I think Mike does too, because, um, you know, we do these shows to interact with you guys and for y'all to interact with one another. Um, I know some people wanted to stay on topic and blah, blah, blah. I'm not one of those guys. I don't think Mike is either. We don't, I don't think we really care. Nope. The only thing I do. No politics or religion. No That's politics it. or religion. That's it. <laughs> Other than that, go for it. <laughs> do what you want to do. <laughs> yeah. What's going on, Craig? Lane Shark Picker. And trust me, if it wasn't for the the YouTube rules and monetization and all that stuff, the cursing would be allowed too. But, you know, since. Yeah. Because I'm a Marine. Uh, yeah. You've heard the. You know, though. Um, 
that you can get away with some of it. Like, like a lot of that is marketer lingo um, so that they can appeal to a wider audience. And they're like, oh, we can't say these words because we can get yep. demonetized. You can still be monetized and have a fair amount of uh, profanity. You just you don't want to get on here and be like, MF this, MF that. You know what I mean? But, uh, you know, um, a lot of that is 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 uh, an urban myth created by the marketers so they can appeal to anyone that will throw them money. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. But, you know, YouTube is not our livelihood. We just do it because we like to do it. But imagine I'd be pretty paranoid if I was relying on it for my livelihood. But yeah, if I was relying on YouTube for my livelihood, I, I don't even know if I could afford a Walmart box to live in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me, I'd be like, what can nine dollars a month get me? I don't know. Not much. And that nine dollars, guys, isn't from YouTube. It's from Patreon. It's from you guys, the patrons. So I get zilch, and so does Justin from YouTube. <laughs> See what's up here. Yeah, Popper John, stay away from Scott's show. Plenty of politics in there. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's his deal. You know, if he wants to do that, that's it's his channel. You know. That's just my rule, you know. Just the way I am. I was just... On my channel, like I don't, I don't get into politics. Is honestly, I don't, either side is for me. Because you know, ten years in a brick and mortar business, my philosophy has always been: you do not want to ostracize any paying customers at all. Ever. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, you know, you, you know, just, it's good just to kind of stay away from polarizing. Yep. Yeah. People get emotional and they'll they'll bail on you quick. Yeah. And besides, like, I, I kind of hate I hate both sides. So. <laughs> okay. Good morning. Good morning. Packing up a coffee mug. First coffee mug. Going uh, get some coffee in my mug if you know. <laughs> Yesterday was funny again. It's like most of the sales were after seven o'clock or so. And during the day, it was dead. I was hoping that was going to be the case. Coffee says, "When you work with the public, it's best to be neutral." Yeah, I agree with that. I mean, i i take I take some hard line things, but I typically it's not stuff that's like I don't know, like. You guys, I mean, if you want, I'm not going to get onto it and John uh, on Mike's channel, but you guys know my stance on certain things with YouTube and content creators, stuff like that. If you want to know more about that, you can check it out on my channel. But that's about the only thing I take a hard line stance on on my channel. Yep. Everything else, I really don't care one way or the other. I mean, we all have our personal opinions. I'm sure Mike's got plenty when it comes to those topics, but he just, you know, keeps it to himself, you know, like yep. an American. <laughs> <laughs> And maybe that's part of the, even though I've been out of the military for tw over 20 years, maybe it's still the part of me. You keep your mouth shut and do your job. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, and I mean, I tell you, I was in, you know, I did, the world was a lot. It's funny because I, you know, I did retail management, then I did office management. And when I was in retail management, the world was not as polarized as it is now. And it's right. So, you know, that stuff didn't really come up that often. And if it did, people could kind of respect both sides. When I when I you know moved over and was doing office management, I had to really make sure I I you know if I heard that kind of talk going on in the office, I had to really kind of squelch it because, man, you know it, it's just so funny how different the world has changed in the last like you know five to ten years with that stuff. It used to be you could have a civil conversation and have opposing views. Now it's that's very difficult. Oh yeah, it's in, it's impossible. Yeah. yeah so. That's why we stay away from it, peeps. <laughs> so, uh, have you had any sales yet today, Mike? None. Zero. Zilch. And honestly, from, I mean, this is like, what is this, the last day for Priority Mail? Yeah, today's the last day. Yeah, first class was the other day, and Priority Mail is today, and then oh. we're done. I mean, honestly, I'm going to be honest with you, Mike. I think I'm taking, like, I'm going to do my morning show and whatnot, but other than that, I'm taking today off from listing. Tomorrow, I'm doing the little meetup thing with some people like Michelle and uh, Dad's in his garage. And then I'll probably do some Christmas shopping while I'm out. And then 
like Saturday and Sunday, it's like Christmas time. Monday's Christmas Eve, Tuesday's Christmas Day, and then I'll probably I think my wife is off Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, so I'll probably take those days off from listing. Obviously, I'll shoot order. But uh yeah, I think I'm not gonna really go back to like going to the after uh New Year's. Huh? Yep. Um to me, any sales from here on out is just, I look at it as a bonus. I'm not expecting anything. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. Like, I'm sure. I mean, it depends on the center or future or whatever you're in, but uh, I'm not anticipating creating sales days in the uh, next week, basically. And, uh, you know, my wife works for the federal government, so she's off Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, so that's nice. We got a four day weekend. So I'm with you. I don't think we're going to do much working. We're just going to. Easy. Enjoy time off. Yep. Yep. I want to finish. I would like to finish uh, Game of Thrones during that time. <laughs> I think we're we're like two episodes away from like the ending of season three. So we haven't gotten to the wedding yet, but it's coming. It's coming. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a good one. Is that the final episode of that season, Mike? You know, I don't or remember. It's been so long. I can't okay. can't remember. Yeah. But it, it's a doozy, regardless. You know. <laughs> so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Um. I'm at where I'm at now is like uh, the Tyrael. That's his name, right? The the midget guy, uh, Peter Dinklage character. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's uh, you know he's been charged with having to marry Sansa. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And his uh, his prostitute girlfriend's not real happy about it. Yeah. Oh, that gets it all gets crazy, and that gets crazy as well. So. Oh man, I can't wait. Uh, uh, I'm hoping maybe tonight. We're two episodes away, so maybe tonight we can finish it. We'll see. <laughs> All right, another one down. It's funny on this one, you know, it's funny you get people that are like, please package carefully and do this and do that. And like, you want to say, listen, people, I package carefully all the time, but you don't, you just go. Yeah, I, I just, the way I respond to those, and, and Trisha, I see your question. I'm going to answer that in a second. Um, the way I uh, respond to those is I'm just like, it will be packaged with care, you know, yep. I, do like that um trisha asks good morning from arizona uh first time catching the live show do you guys use any social media to promote your ebay stores uh mike i'll let you go and then i'll go uh yes and it can get overwhelming but so to me i've kind of picked and choose i use primarily instagram and facebook but there's people out there that use them all you know twitter and and the uh, pinterest and all that stuff but i focus on instagram and facebook so yes we do yeah uh well for me i don't i don't really use uh social media necessarily to promote my ebay store um my youtube channel and i mean most of the people that watch i use those i use instagram and facebook more so to promote my youtube channel my youtube channel does have a link to my facebook store so indirectly but for the most part people watching me aren't going to shop for me if that makes sense i mean i i more so link my ebay store for my youtube channel just so people can kind of see what i'm doing um, or you can check out what I'm selling, you know, what, what's not selling, that kind of stuff. Um, but other than that, I kind of, I'm a listed and forget it guy. I'm very low maintenance when it comes to eBay. I do good to cancel, which I know a lot of people say that's not the right way to go. It's just what works for me. Um, I list it, forget it, and then it sells and I package it and ship it and so forth and so on. Man, I really wish board games would, was eligible for media mail, <laughs> but it's not. I got a board game going to California, you know, so the shipping's always challenging on that. Cherry McD says, I can get new Converse for less than that. The outlets here. Cherry McD, are, are you, what Converse are you talking about? Oh, formerly known as FMP. Oh, I see. I went to Goodwill in Virginia Beach uh, Tuesday and they had Spearies for 40 and Converse for 30. That's a, I mean, just wait till they hit the bends. You know, they probably, they're probably going to end up in the Richmond bends and no one's going to pay that. Luckily, at my goodwill, for the most part, they don't mark up shoes. It's just five bucks and six bucks for boots. I just sold a, a pair. Well, you'll see. I'm not going to spoil it. Watch my What's Sold video. I got, <laughs> I, got, I got some shoes in there. <laughs> I'm surprised. I mean, you know, Andy and, and Lauren do really well on Posh. And I probably have 60 or 70 things on Posh. I haven't sold a single thing on Poshmark. Are you sharing your closet, doing the sharing and caring and like every it? once in a while? But, you know, I'm not religious about it like some of those folks. But, yeah. 
I, I, and Amy's not either, so I don't know. Yeah, let me. Uh, well, he see what it is is you gotta you gotta get your uh, your fans to share your closet for you that are on Poshmark. Yeah. that's what I need and uh, I think Lauren do. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a shake in January. Um, I'm gonna start cross posting some of my stuff that I think would do well over there. So. Yeah, that's what I do. I just you know, oh, Ronnie, Ronnie Hart, uh, and you know, keep in mind, Ronnie Hart knows his high end clothing. He says Posh sucked. Yep. Say, I'm glad I could. He Ronnie confirmed that because it has it nothing, absolutely zero. <laughs> but I'm like you, Justin. I don't think people, you know, I got a lot of new with tag stuff listed too, and that's not even sold. But you know, I know people aren't going for used clothing. But yeah, because I find an awful lot of new with tag stuff, and yeah. Yeah, you know, I, I do too. My goodwill though has started. Like, I mean, I'll be honest, man. I've seen literally like an Arizona, which I think is a Target brand. Arizona new with tags, and it'll be like a twelve dollars shirt with the price tag on it. And Goodwill's trying to get like fourteen for it. I'm like, <laughs> really? Like, really? but like right next to it will be like a new with tags. Like, let's say, you you know, I'm just trying to think of a. But you go to like a good brand that's new with tags, and it's not priced up at all. It's so funny the way they work. So bizarre. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Arizona is JC Penney's. Okay. I thought it was Target for whatever reason. But still not a high end brand, regardless. You know? No, no, no. It's like it's like they're definitely like a store brand of theirs. Yep. Ronnie says he did not like it. Ronnie, how how many items did you have listed on your Poshmark? Just curious. Did you like cross post everything and then just said screw it or Hey Glenn, what's going on, buddy? Swamp picker. I have a feeling this board game going to California is going to be better on pirate ship. It could, it could very well be. Um, how are you uh, boxing it? Because it's it's cubic, so if yeah. it's long, it may not. If you can get it, in not, it's one of the square ones, you know. But oh, it's still an odd yeah. size. Gotcha. Yeah, I would. I mean, at least price compare at the very least. Because it's like twelve by twelve. Yep. So yeah. And that's a tough box anyway. I'm like, what you know? <laughs> I don't want to use a twelve by twelve by eight priority. That's overkill. I may have to Franken box something. Yeah. Ronnie Hart says he had hundred and fifty items listed. Okay, so you did give it a fair shake. It's not like you listed yeah. five things. Uh formerly known as F and P. Uh good question. And he's uh they're asking anyone else just coasting until the twenty sixth now. I'll be honest with you, I'm coasting until January second. <laughs> Yo. Um, Qu quarter four is a grind. We all deserve a break. Yeah. yeah, and here's the thing: is I'm going to take a nice little break because come January, I'm really going to start crushing this death pile. I'm going to really. I have a lot of goals for the new year uh, with not just with reselling, but with the YouTube channel, with personal life. Like you know, it's time to. I'm 30. I'll be 34 in October. I got to start trying to get some of this weight off before it becomes like insurmountable. So, yep. you, you know, it, I'm going to take this time to really just kind of give myself a break and really kind of get my ass in gear um, come January 2nd with everything, reselling, personal stuff, um, YouTube, all that fun stuff. You know, Absolutely. You should do that, man. The, and we've talked about it before, but the weight, just it gets harder and harder each year that goes by. And, and for me, it's an uphill battle, man, because of the yeah. uh, the, the hypothyroid. Yeah. <laughs> Landshark, Landshark, I have extra equipment, man. And we have a uh, we have stuff in the bedroom. We have a, our bedrooms like it, this house is weirdly designed. Like we don't have a lot of we don't have a lot of um like living space downstairs. But the rooms are like this room is like six hundred square feet, and the bedroom it, it mirrors it, but it's even bigger. So it's about seven hundred square feet. And then I have a man cave downstairs that's actually two rooms. And then we have our kitchen and our living room, which are relatively small. <laughs> so it's like a lot of bedroom space in this house, not a lot. Of, we don't like have a dining room. You know, it's, 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 it's just the two of you. You don't need a dining room. That's what a sofa is for and a TV. <laughs> <laughs> Denise Pick says, Justin, what day is your birthday? Uh, October 27th. I am a Scorpio. Yeah, Ronnie, don't text and drive, my friend. 
Yeah. Be safe. And, uh, when I was messaging this morning when you were live, I was just sitting at a stoplight trying to bang out a couple of messages before it turned green. Facebook <laughs> <laughs> now with the uh, like Facebook, you can do the voice. When you're driving, you just hold down the, the microphone button and you can do the uh, the voice. What was I saying about a microphone? What, what? <laughs> I didn't hear that. Oh, I was just saying on face like Facebook message, you can uh, press the. Uh, oh yeah, well, like they were doing in the group yesterday. Yeah, like I, I think because Ronnie's on the road a lot, or you know he's out doing stuff, and uh, he takes advantage of that a lot. Yeah, a lot easier than sitting there trying to type something. Yeah. Where's she here? Got these mugs wrapped up. I got a set of four mugs. It's old, which is awesome. Uh, nice. Yeah. I picked up a, a mug yesterday, Mike. I was going to ask you about it. Sure. I picked it up because it looked quality. And worst case, it was it was two bucks. Worst case scenario is I will keep it because it's a cool mug. But here, I'll put it up here. Is this? I mean, you know mugs better than I do. I just picked it up because it looked quality. And if, if it's not worth anything, it's a nice big mug. I'll keep it. But it's yeah. Town Boston Traveler's Choice. I think it's probably like a coffee brand, and it's made by. It was made in Thailand in 2015 by America where I haven't comped it or anything, but it just looked good quality. Yeah. It just depends on that brand. It looks like it's a pretty good stoneware. So, and it's got that 3d applique thing. So that, yeah, that yeah, yeah, branded yeah, quality. Got the branding and, and the, oh, you know, that's cool. I think that would, I think that would sell probably for 2025. It just went too. And like, well, like I said, worst case scenario is I like the bigger mugs like this cause it holds more, you know? Yeah. So, I figure if it's not worth anything, I'll just buy it for myself for tax purposes and keep it. You know. That's right. I'm the same as you. I have, I have a big. I usually get big cups for myself. So. How much are these mugs going to weigh? But Ronnie, yeah, that's mug. Ronnie says hashtag always sourcing. Yeah, me too, brother. That's why I have this death pile. <laughs> Oops, sorry, dog. Yeah, literally, I think I could go a couple months without sourcing, but I'm Dude. not going. To. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna put you this way: I have thirty. I have, I have two hundred pairs of women's denim over here. Uh -huh. I should miss it by like August because of the season. I got I got probably two hundred pairs, probably about forty or fifty pairs of seven for all mankind jeans. Uh, probably about seven pair of dojos that go for about sixty bucks a pair that aren't listed. You could literally sit there for a couple weeks straight listing jeans. <laughs> yeah, I, I hate listing denim, man. I hate it. Like, I don't think I ever want to get to the point of having an employee, but I have thought about doing the whole like outsourcing the to India thing and uh, having a virtual assistant do some of my listing for me through like a third party application. If you got someone that was good, that'd be really nice. Where you just sent them the pictures and description or something, or right, exactly. You know? Just have them bang out the listings. I mean, and like you know, if you if you go overseas, you're not paying much for it. No. I'm still. I mean, it's not going to happen imminently, but I always keep my eye out for a warehouse because if one comes available at the right price, right amenities, I am going to make that jump. But yeah. I'm not going to do it just to do it. I thought about that too, but I think what we're going to do is. Um, but I, well, ultimately what I want to do, cause you know, I'm, I'm still young. So like, I'm still like, I'm only a year in full time. So like, I'm still very much developing my business. I think my game plan is to build a house and then I, I would build like a separate like building on the property. Yeah. That way I can get all the crap out of my house and have a good solid workplace you know what i mean that's but it's also like if you still have the benefits of working from home without having to go somewhere if that makes sense yeah. oh it does that and when i lived in missouri that's exactly what i had but uh yeah it just wasn't i was more brick and mortar there i had a a house on five acres with two outbuildings that have been perfect for doing this yeah because i feel like i just need more space and then i could also like you know get rid of the storage unit because you know, having everything like in house, is, I mean, even though the storage unit is only like a mile from my house, it's still like an extra, an extra trip. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, extra expense, extra trip. Yep. Absolutely. And with the area I live in now, 
cost of living here is just so high. <laughs> oh, yeah. Northern Virginia is ridiculous. It is so, so high. Honestly, I mean, we're not here long term. We're here at the most for the next 10 years, and that's at the absolute most. Well, y'all are there for your wife's work, I'm sure. Absolutely. 100%. Only here for my wife's work. Yeah. And that is it. If it wasn't for that, or she likes gets a different job, or she gets a remote job, we're out of here. Punk Town says, thanks, RVA, for recommending this channel. Thank you for subscribing to it. I'm sure Mike thinks you as well. Yeah, absolutely. Push to a 1,000. Honestly, I'm way ahead where I ever thought I would be when I was in, like, November. I was like, man, maybe if I can get to 500 by end of January. <laughs> yeah. But then, uh, yeah, taking off a little bit, which is good. No matter what anyone says that they don't care, whatever, we all like to be the work, our work appreciated, you know. So, yeah, like when I started doing the live shows, I'll be honest with you, Mike, I thought it was going to be like maybe like I thought I literally thought it was going to be zero people and me just talking to myself and maybe people would watch the replays. <laughs> so, yeah, pretty well. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. And I don't, I'm sure people did live shows before, but I don't know. It kind of set a trend there doing that, you know? So. Yeah. I mean, there's plenty like, but the problem is a lot of the live shows, it, it's for the night owl crowd. Cause I mean, there's a lot of night owls in the reselling community, but there's also a lot of early risers like, like me and a lot of the people that are in our chat and uh, they weren't very well. I mean, like, apart from Scott's show, they're not very well represented, you know? Absolutely. Like, and we're, I'm the same way, you know, I'm, I'm in bed by nine o'clock. Yep. So, <laughs> not staying up for no 10 or 11 o'clock show. Right. Not going to do it. This box. Steampunk Town says I'm definitely in bed sleeping by 8:30 every night. Yeah, I mean we're kind of we're kind of in the same boat, man. We're we're pretty much like lights out by like 8:45, and I'm usually asleep by no later than 9:30. Like if I'm up still at 10 o'clock, that's like that's late. With me. Absolutely. When we did that Dave Matthews concert last week, you know we didn't get home till like after midnight. I thought I was gonna die. <laughs> I'm so tired. Honky says I tell chicken when to roost. <laughs> Sherry McDee, super early riser. Uh, do, 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 do. And Sherry McDee says, and yep, I miss all the late night antics. Fun to be here. No, what's funny is my, and I'm sure everybody, or most people are the same way. Like my grandmother was a early to bed, early rise person. I, I thought when I was young, I'll never do that. I'll never be go to bed at eight o'clock and get up at five. Go to bed at nine o'clock and I get up at five thirty. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, you know, I used to be like in my youth, um, I used to be the type of person that was I was like I was a night out in an early bird, meaning like I maybe got two hours of sleep. And uh as you get older, you can't do that. Stop with your freaking nature. That dude, I'll say like if I wake up in the middle of the night, I'll I'll go and like check out some of the West Coast people's live shows or whatever, and Scott will be in there. And then he's also in my chat a lot of the morning. I don't, I don't know how that guy does it, man. Well, there's a certain – it's in their genetics because there are certain people that can get only like three or four hours sleep and perfect function perfectly, and it's in their genetics, you know? Yeah, good, good on them, man. For me, i got to get seven or eight. And <laughs> I'm up with six. If I can get – if I can get a – because I, I go to bed about nine, ten o'clock, and I'm up by like four typically. But – uh. If I can get a solid six hours, I'm good. And I find if I sleep past eight hours, I'm actually more tired than I am if I get sick. Hey, my body won't let me anymore. But if I sleep close to the nine hours, my back will be hurting, my shoulders. Yeah. It's crazy. Good morning, Chris. I did. I was actually up late enough to uh, catch Chris's live show, though. Luckily, with Chris, he uh, he does it. He, he kind of gets straight into the point. He kind of keeps it meat and potatoes. So, like, you can pop in. He's showing you what he picked up, and it's like, all right, guys, night. <laughs> yeah. Out of here. <laughs> yeah, I like watching Chris's show when I can. If I can't catch it live, I'll watch the replays. He's, uh, he's, I'm going to be watching the replays right now. I'm not, he doesn't want to die. Like, I like stop I'm not a big sport guy, so it's uh, it's beneficial to me to kind of figure out 
what is good and what isn't. So I ended up doing all these four mugs in a 12 by 12 by 8 priority box. So nice. gotta pack them well. Gotta pack them well. If two hip chicks says it wasn't for the day job, I would sleep in and be up all night. So see, they are, she is reversed. Yeah. And people are like that. Like I have a sister in laws like that. Though. She'd rather stay up late. So, yeah. <laughs> Wait, do I have an afro? Is that, what, is that what's happening? Tommy Bernard says the screenshot right now for the video is my afro. Uh, <laughs> That's strange. You know, when I do live videos, it does usually pick up a, a, a thumbnail of the guest. It's kind of yeah. like that. Too. Uh, look, guys, I don't have an afro, but you got to understand when I do these morning shows, I used to call them the no filter morning shows because literally I'm, I had a cup of coffee. I probably went to the storage unit if I had to, and I'm just going live. I haven't showered. I haven't combed my hair. I haven't done anything. I usually shower after we get done with all the morning, morning antics and get going with my day. And they are antics. That's for sure. Tommy, <laughs> God is pretty open about his caffeine pills to keep him going. Fair enough. What is the best time. size box to keep on hand for cubic shipping? Still trying to figure that out. Um, it, there's different ones. Uh, typically, you you know what I like to use for cubic shipping. Uh, I don't have any nearby. Shoot, what? Are, oh man. Uh, I'll tell you what, uh, Sherry McDee, I will get back to you because I want to actually pull them and show them to you. Um. And I don't want to tell you the wrong size, and I don't have any in the room right now. I have them in my storage unit, so I will pull those and let you know. The superstar Hobbs wanted to say hello. Uh, <laughs> too funny. <laughs> he is such a good boy. <laughs> you know, people say cats are all aloof and everything. This boy is the most affectionate kitty you could ever imagine. Yeah, let me, I got one too. <laughs> we have a cat tree right outside of the office my ebay office like it's on, on the staircase landing and so they can look out the window and stuff so she, all day she's just napping in there <laughs> this little girl she's uh we've had we she was a rescue cat we got for my wife's birthday about a year ago and she's the sweetest little thing yep but she knows she's not allowed to be in here but if i'm holding her it's fine but I think we're getting a third. I think my wife, uh, did I tell you she was trying to get a dog for like a, like a, uh, she was trying to get a dog for like this program called silent night or whatever, where like you take home an animal for the holidays from the shelter. Um, she, so she signed up for it thinking that she would get a dog and they paired her with a cat. And I told her, I was like, cause I'm a cat. Person. I don't really like, I don't, I don't dislike dogs, but I'm more of a cat person. And I was like, if you bring home a cat, for the holidays, it's not going back to the shelter. So I think we're going to end up with a freaking third cat, which we do not need. That's me. I don't even go to the shelter anymore because I know I'll come back with something, whether it's dog or a cat or something. So I just I send them money every year, and I don't go. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I'm definitely a cat person. Just And, like, all the cats I've ever had, they've never been that, like, antisocial, like, wall cat type cat. They've always been like dogs. Like, they come when we call them. Yep. I think it's all about who they're around too. You know, they pick up on your vibe, you know, yeah. at least mine do. So. But I don't know if you can see it. She's got this like weird, look at yeah. her face here. I wanted to name her two face, but Gabby wouldn't let me. Bye. 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 All right. can show you one of my oh, people yeah we get on the pet topic friday yeah i think it's a prerequisite to at least own one cat if you're a reseller Come here. this is sadie oh he's cute is it a he or she she there i got a pair of sisters this is sadie oh that's a cute yeah. dog this is her sister from the same litter friday Oh man, they're adorable. What type of dogs are those? These are half beagle, half tufted Chinese crusted. Okay. Weird, I know, <laughs> but we adopted them. You know, so. I like their uh, their coat. It's uh, it's different than this standard like pet fur. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like a wire wire hair. Yeah. But 
they they're they're ten years old. So. Been with us a long time. You should have seen me when I made the move from Missouri to Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> I was my wife was already out here because she had to start work and stuff. So I had to take over, you know, selling the house back in Missouri and making sure the movers got everything. But I had to take the pets, you know, because who else is going to do it? Right. So I, I rented a van and had all the, you know, big crates and stuff in there. So I had two dogs and five cats at that time, making that fourteen-hour drive from Missouri to Virginia. <laughs> That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Chris, Liquidation OH says, my big dummy lab ate our kid's silly putty this morning. <laughs> That's going to be some interesting poop. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be a fun pile to pick up out of the yard. <laughs> he said, it's glittery, so I shouldn't miss it. Nope, that's going to stand out like a, you're going to think you found silver in your backyard. is going to be dog shit. Oh, uh, crap. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That might be a butt dragger after they're done with that. I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah, dude. It's gonna be like it's gonna be like leaving like a uh, a glitter trail. <laughs> <laughs> if your carpet looks glittery, you know what happened. Yeah. Oh gosh. Well, I got all but one package up, and I think I got to build a Franken box. And uh, yeah, I think that's really it, guys. Uh, thank Justin for joining me this morning. Like I said, I'll be on with John, the Cincinnati picker, Friday afternoon. I'll just do my morning. You know, we're, I'm sure we're doing our normal stuff tomorrow morning, Justin. Yeah, I'll have to do that. And then I have um, I have a what sold video from just like the first part of this week that'll that's premiering at twelve, I think. So just keep an eye. On. And I'm uh I'm videoing videoing my what sold this afternoon. So uh, our Justin's already decided there's no working hangout, which is good because uh, <laughs> I'm gonna be busy anyway filming that. And yeah. uh. Yeah, that's it. So thanks, guys. Uh, thanks a million for coming in. There's 38 watching, 39, which is good. Uh, hit that thumbs up if you will. Appreciate it. Any interaction is good interaction. So, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Hang on the line, Justin. Okay. Bye. Bye.